what is going on guys the boss here and welcome to another video here on my channel which is gonna be a special one as I'm starting up my first let's play series here on this channel the reason why I'm doing this is that I'm I just want to start all over with you guys as you can't implement really the strategies I'm showing you with my high level account which I used in my last video so I started up here with a new account which is called the boss 2 and at the moment I'm not having that many towers as you can see in my loadout. I'm having here the cannon, the ice tower, the adrenaline, the snowball, the grunts and the sorcerer. So not that much is going on here and I'm not upgrading them right now as I want to show you that you can also succeed in the arena with low level towers if you're still at the beginning. And we're gonna, our aim here is basically to move up into League 2 right away. You can see I'm having here currently 200 Valor and I'm only missing I guess 50 more Valor to get into the next league, into League 2 where we're gonna be able to get bigger chests which means in other words that we're gonna be able to proceed faster in the game later on. And yeah, so why not start with the first battle and let's see how it turns out. I hope I'm not gonna lose, I'm not, I don't want to re-record this video so yeah. Let's just hope for the best and wish me luck. Or I, actually I don't need luck, I, I know I'm gonna win this. Alright, let's go. Alright, our first opponent of the day is gonna be Amadeus. And let's see what this guy got. I actually was looking at my phone so I completely missed out on that part. And we're gonna start off by placing here our cannon right in the middle. Simply because when you place it too far to the Skyshot generator, it actually, the range of the cannon goes behind the sky shot generator, so you're losing that uh, damage potential. And we, I assume our opponent is playing pretty defensively, so we're gonna start off by placing here our grunts right away, and let's see what he's gonna do. We're definitely gonna destroy that cannon. Oh no, we're not gonna destroy that cannon. So this guy is playing really defens defensively, and we need to pay here some attention as we lost now five years in total since we wasted them on our grunts which actually didn't do anything all right so but let's let's not lose our focus here we're gonna win this by destroying here the ice tower he's not paying attention to that one probably so we're gonna be able to take that out which is gonna give us here a nice advantage here a good trade of gears in the as a result and we're we are also going to be able to play some more cannons and maybe soon enough we're going to be able to take out that cannon which is standing so far in the front of everything. So let's send in our grunts first to cover our hero and now we can use our uh, hero to take out that cannon which is going to work out pretty nicely and we're going to be able to take out that ice tower once again which is also pretty nice for us and we need to use our snowball here just to make sure that we're not losing too many uh, hearts here and now we got here an advantage of one heart oh I can't I sh never forget to use your uh, gears never sit on them because this is uh, giving the opponent the opportunity to basically catch up in terms of the gears advantage we actually build up here by destroying all of his towers so what we actually want to do is having a nice trade between uh, the cannons oh now he's attacking our our hero what we actually want to do here is destroy the cannons of our opponents so that we can afford to spam here with grunts the whole time. What we're gonna do of course right now. And now let's block this path here, use our snowball once again, upgrade our cannons to make sure that we're gonna win this one. And now it looks like the enemy is suffering some more casualties. We're also gonna suffer some of them unfortunately right here. But all over, uh, sum up basically we're having here an advantage of two hearts now. Which is pretty nice, I guess. So, let's place here a cannon to complete the path and use here another round of grunts to pressure our opponent. If we're gonna be able to take out that ice tower right now, this would be nice since then our troops can simply move through that gap and we also need to be careful here. Alright, let's retreat with our hero just to make sure that our hero is not gonna be a, uh, gonna get killed. And now we're gonna be able to make some more damage to the Skyshot Generator and this is our first victory. So obviously you can see uh, you need to use your hero here a lot to destroy the opponent's cannons and just to pressure him a lot for the fact that we spam our, with our grunts and if we don't destroy the cannons of our opponent then we're always losing 5 gears. But since we're able to destroy his cannons 
it's basically even. But we're also uh, doing damage to his Skysha generator. So basically we're making here valuable trades in the end of the day, which is the concept of the uh, survival arena PvP mode. Alright, we are having now 221 Valor and maybe if we're lucky we're gonna be able to get, uh, get into the next league right now if we're gonna be able to win this match. So let's search for the next opponent. Alright, next opponent of the day is Candid Boss, but he's not the boss, I want to mention that. And we're gonna start off the same way as we did before by placing here our cannon right in the center and this guy is pretty aggressive I guess we can easily take out this cannon and he doesn't even has a hero so this is gonna be an easy victory I can tell you that already in advance let's up upgrade here our cannon let's destroy his other cannon as well simply because he's placing it so far ahead he's giving us uh, the laughing smiley so um, yeah he already sees that, that he's gonna lose here and we're gonna wait with our guns to finish everything off here. Uh, yeah, got nothing to say for that. But in general, also remember, don't place your tower so far close to my, uh, so close to my side simply because then the hero has the opportunity to take it out easily and this is our next victory here. This is how we do it guys. Well played and now we are getting 14 more Valor, which means one more battle, one last battle and we're gonna be able to move into League 2 with our pretty low level account. And afterwards we're also gonna open up those chests here. I simply also don't, didn't open them up because I wanted to wait until we might get any better tower in general just to show you how everything works with uh, low level towers. Alright, let's ready up and go into the next battle of today, which is gonna be another victory. Right, next battle is against Adeliniter. Right, Survive. same procedure as before. Let's place our cannon right here, Three, and let's wait. Two, or one, yeah, let's see what go. this guy is gonna do. And since he placed his cannon so far on the outside, no, he's actually attacking with his hero. This is gonna be interesting. So we freeze his hero, attack his hero with our uh, hero, and upgrade our cannon to the max. Now that we have taken out the hero, we can counter him out in a second once our grunts are available. So let's place our grunts, let's send them in and let's destroy some cannons of this guy. Because now the cannons are focusing on our grunts, which is giving us here the opportunity to cause some damage to a sky shot generator with one grunt reaching it. Alright, let's place here our next cannon. And let's make our prepare ourselves again with the grunts. We're gonna keep pushing here. We're gonna be pretty aggressive. Let's destroy that cannon here again. And yeah, we are we're gonna be able to take it out as well. So he lost here already 10 gears in total simply uh, for the fact that we could be we were able to destroy it. Then he sent uh, his hero after our hero. So things are looking pretty good for us. Let's use our snowball here to stop his grunts from reaching our. Uh, Skyshot generator and now we need to be again careful that we're using our gears properly I guess we're wasting here a lot of them and we need to pay attention to that since we're only having here a one heart lead so far so let's destroy here the next cannon nope our hero won't make it unfortunately our hero was too weak in that situation but we can prepare ourselves here again with uh, a couple of cannons once again Let's prepare our snowball again, since he's so aggressive attacking our cannon and the hero is down once more. Alright, let's go here to the right cannon soon. And if we're gonna be able to take it out, we're gonna have here an advantage overall once again. Let's use our grunts there, let's retreat with our hero and let's upgrade here in the back some more cannon since so many grunts are moving through that gap. Alright, so now that he has set up his uh, defense, this might get uh, might become a longer battle in total. Here he comes again with his hero, so let's sell our cannon right here. Because sometimes it's better to sell a cannon, since otherwise we would have lost, uh, lost a completely maxed out cannon and this is not in our favor, I guess. And now people, uh, troops are moving uh, through. That's, that's... Why are they getting to our Skyshot generator? That's quite annoying. All right, let's let's destroy here this cannon if we can. Oh, it's it's still too strong, but now we can send in our grunts once more. 
While the cannon is distracted, we can use our hero. Now the cannon is down. And let's bl uh, block that path in a second. Was that a good idea? I don't know, since the grunt started to speed up so much. But also ours are gonna reach his skyshot generator. So it's mm, one more hit of a grunt and we would have won here. Unfortunately, we missed that. And we still need to upgrade our cannons. I'm missing that way too often, but anyways. We're, it looks pretty nice here, 5 to 1 in general. Let's use our grunts here once again and hopefully we're gonna be able to use our snowball soon enough as we need to stop here the incoming troops uh, from hitting our skyshot generator. And now we're gonna pick up the win here against Adenilinator or yeah that's I guess his name and we're gonna be able to move up into the next league which is gonna be amazing well since we finally can pick up here bigger rewards and proceed way faster in the game and additionally to that we are gonna be able to get a couple more towers for the fact that we unlock them when we're moving up there. Alright, so since we have mo since we moved up now into the new league, I think we can open up here a couple of chests. So let's start from the left and go to the right. Alright, the small chest is gonna be two ice towers, not too bad, and 18 sky shards. Next chest is gonna be two cannon fires, one cannon and sky shards, I guess, yes. Alright, nothing that spectacular so far in the chest, but we are but we can continue here with the grunts, two grunts, one bombastic, which is pretty nice, we can up, uh, level up now the bombastic, which I'm gonna use also in the next battles, as this guy is pretty powerful, I guess. Now we get six more pirate lasses, six bombastics, also pretty nice, and eight heavy soldiers, that's quite a lot. I haven't used that card so far so often, so I'm gonna experiment with him a, li a little bit in the next fights. And we also got here a couple of chests, the supply chests, which open up every 4 hours. So you can get there also a couple of chests. We got here now the Sky Harpoon, which is quite nice, but I would have preferred the Bertha in that sense. Maybe we're gonna be able to pick it up in the next chest, hopefully. Hopefully we're gonna be able to do that. But we can upgrade the Sky Harpoon, which is also not too bad. The Sky Harpoon is gonna be helpful when we're making it to the Thunderdome, when we unlock it. Three lockpicks. Right, and now we can go for the Pirate's Chest. Since we got 500 Sky Shots, and why not use our 500 Sky Shots for the Pirate Chest, right? So in the beginning I would also go first uh, buying a couple of chests here. Simply for the fact that they can help you to pr uh, proceed very fast in the game. What did I do? They can help you to proceed very fast in the game. So let's do it. Open it up. Ah, it costs 750. Since I moved into League 2. Ah, uh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Alright. Then I need to stop this video here, unfortunately. But we can also upgrade here a couple of towers. At least we can do that. And, uh... Yeah, that's basically it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of the Survival Arena Let's Play series. And I'm gonna continue leveling up here with this account. And soon enough I'm also gonna be able to compete with other people in the Survival Arena. Uh, in the arenas in general. Uh, since my towers are gaining more strengths and gaining more levels. But anyways, yeah, this is it for me. Have a great rate. Peace out.